Hello there, this is Sublime Ant, and welcome to another video about compact production in Factorio. This time we'll take a look at science production. I'll share with you my favorite ways of creating science in a compact and extendable way that scales well into the late game. Alright, for this video I really challenge myself to build as compact as possible. And it took quite some time, but here we have the end results. This is the most compact uh, green, red, blue science combo I could think of. And as you can see, there are twice as many blue science packs on the machines as red and green because they take twice as long time. So you will create about equal amounts of blue, green, and red science packs in a very compact manner. And the inputs all come from the top, and they go straight down. And the nice thing about this is the whole thing is extendable. So you could just make a copy of this and put it down here. And just like that, you have twice the output of blue, red, and green science. So an example of that is right here. Taking that to the extreme, this thing <laughs> is six times as long, and it should be more than enough for all your science need needs in the game. But in my opinion, this is actually not that compact anymore. So if you really want to go compact, I would instead do something like this, where it's twice as big as the one we had initially, but we have assembly machine 3 instead of 2 with speed modules which means this is actually going to produce almost as much as this whole thing on the right in a much much more compact way so this thing here creates uh, 180 of each science pack per minute which should be more than enough for all your science needs so there you have it one thing to note about this design is that the inputs uh, are not all trivial resources. Some are a little more advanced. So yeah, the plastics, steel, and the sulfuric acid is something you would need to do at a different place in a factory. And the way I usually do it <coughs> is, yeah, I, I create plastic and sulfuric acid by my oil refineries. And then I just buzz it with the rest of my resources. And the same with steel, I don't really like creating locally, I just bust it too with the iron and the copper. So yeah, that's how I like to do it. And if you really want to make everything in one place, there's nothing stopping me from just adding some extra stuff on the sides here. So you can create the steel, plastic, and sulfuric acid right here if you want to. Now, to be honest, building this whole thing by hand is not something I would want to do. I would only build this kind of setup once I have blueprints and construction bots available. And that leaves the question, what do you do in the early game before you have blueprints and construction bots? Alright, so let me show you something. Now this here is the kind of setup I would use in the early game. And as you can see, it's a lot easier to follow what's going on here compared to the other ones. And this is something that I would definitely be able to build without having blueprints available. And it's still extendable. All these sections can just be extended downwards if you need more science. Yeah, that's about it. And what I would usually do in a game is I would start out with this, and then once I had unlocked construction bots and blueprints, I would tear this whole thing down and simply replace it with this thing instead. Alright, that's all I had for this video. Let me know what you think of these designs in the comments below. And I will also be putting the blueprints for these designs in the description, so you can add them easily to your own game. And be sure to hit the like button and subscribe button if you like this kind of content. There will be more coming in the near future, so stay tuned. So thanks for watching, and see you later.